In our previous episode, we had crossed over from Sicily and had arrived at Capo Carbonara on the southeast tip of the Italian island of Sardinia. This episode covers the rest of our time along Sardinia's amazing southern and southwestern coasts. Join us as we explore Malfitano, Portopino, then the wonderful harbor towns of Calasetta and Carlo Forte. Sunrise departure from Capo Carbonara, and we're going across the Gulf of Cagliari, I think is what it's called, uh, for about a 36 mile sail today. Beautiful start. And we've got a lighthouse up there on that point, another lighthouse here. And I'm Karen. Welcome to Life 4.0, where we share our adventures of life aboard our sailboat as we explore this amazing planet, one anchorage at a time. This summer, we're crossing much of the Mediterranean, from Greece to Italy, Malta, Spain, including out through Gibraltar Strait, then along the Portuguese coast before we finish the summer in the Galicia area of Northwest Spain. The winds from the northwest were predicted to be quite strong for a couple days, and these conditions are the evidence of its building strength. We looked for a place where we could get protection and also be able to have fun for a couple days. Malfitano didn't disappoint. We hiked to the top of the bluff, snorkeled, and took dinghy tours of nearby coves. This area was absolutely beautiful. We were in constant awe as we took in our surroundings. We are in the uh, little bay of Malfitana with lots of little coves and craggy spaces to tuck in. And it's just a great little space. Um, Tom has declared that it is so far his favorite anchorage of the year. And I guess I tend to agree. There's yet another one of these towers. They're all over southern Sardinia. They've been built around 1500, I think. Um, to protect from pirates, just to have a warning system from pirates all along the, um, the southern coast of Sardinia. Uh, sun's been set over there. Boats have been coming all day, in and out. Um, it's quite windy offshore, but this place is tucked in really nice. Uh, we love this boat. This is really neat. Uh, looks like it has wooden masts. Very classic style. Uh, they just came in recently, multi flagged. Beautiful boat. So there's several little coves here, there, one beyond there, and then ours. There's a lighthouse down there. Tomorrow we're going to head out around this 
way and head up um, just a little ways up the western coast of Sardinia. A beautiful evening. We could see the lighthouse flash in the distance. And shortly, the moon was overhead. Beautiful morning here as we head out on sort of southern Sardinia around the southwest tip, starting to make our way up a little bit north. Uh, we're aiming for a place called Porto Pinto today, just around the corner from this point up here. It's kind of dramatic cliff edge point. Uh, this is the southwestern end of Sardinia right here. And uh, it's also a military exclusion zone on the chart. So we can navigate through this area, but we're not allowed to stop or anchor. Heard some stories from other sailors that they got uh, a Navy ship came by or Navy personnel on a boat came by and told them to leave. It's pretty clear in the chart. It's also clear in the cruising guide. So kind of like if you try it, it's your own, <laughs> own fault for not uh, doing your research or whatever. But beautiful morning. We're going to sail by. I'm not sure what happens at the military exclusion zone. Uh, I will look, but I won't stop. We're doing an early morning departure here because uh, once again, I feel like a broken record, but uh, we're having contrary winds later today. So we're trying to scooch around the corner here. I know we're gonna get headwinds when we go around the corner here, but uh, at least they won't be quite as bad as they will be later this morning. So we left at 6 a.m., uh, kind of the earliest we felt comfortable getting going and um, trying to get around the corner before the winds come up and we can get settled at Porto Pinto see how that goes um, and then we have another kind of hop around the corner to get further up north tomorrow um, which seems like it's gonna have contrary winds as well so um, I'm enjoying a little sail here while we have the chance It'll probably last about an hour before we have to turn around the corner and head into the wind but uh, really really special morning here and um, we uh, had a great stop at, at Malfitano uh, I think one of the prettiest places we've seen, in my opinion, since we started this summer in Greece. Uh, just rugged beauty. Uh, we hiked up to the tower yesterday, had a nice view, and just, it's, it, it's a lot of places we've been to have been beautiful, but this one it seems to have the rugged beauty where we're not here with a whole bunch of other people. Uh, it's a little bit uh, more natural and um, just a little bit uh, more special because of that. You don't feel like you're in here with a whole bunch of bus tours or a whole bunch of people everywhere. So we got about 15 miles to go to Puerto Pinto, and uh, right now we're enjoying a nice little sail. So the military exclusion zone is right around this point that we're going to go around. If I go in, anchoring and fishing prohibited. So around this dotted line here, we're going to go just beyond there into little Puerto Pinto. So all along this coast, they've got all these towers. Um, we've been calling them Genovese, tower, Genovese Towers. Not sure that that's their origin, but they're all along. This is just one example. There's probably, I know there was one down here and all that. I'm just wondering why they didn't put one up here, but maybe it will be obvious when we get around the corner, maybe there's one on the other side. They do seem to put them on the highest point of land. Um, and somehow get all the stone up there. But uh, they were definitely concerned about pirate attacks, as I can understand back then. Really enjoying the striking point of land here. We have one sailboat with us out here called Marigo. This is called the Cape of Tulada. And uh, the town of Tulada is back, way back in there. I saw a sailboat leave this morning out of there. 
but uh, Cape of Tulata. Very beautiful. Especially in this early morning light with all the shadows. I love that. All right, we are coming in the little canal here at Porto Pino on the southern coast of Sardinia. And there's a little uh, marina, uh, just sort of a, a straight marina through here. And then it's supposed to go into a little canal that takes you in by their little town. There's a little bridge. And the water's still really clear through here, which is really nice. Normally in these places where you get um, back in off the main water, just not enough water circulates. But I think this may go to a little river. So all these boats have a line going over from a chain that's going down all along the bottom and um, they yeah look at that wow it's quite a but that helps them uh, you know pull themselves toward the center of the canal and so they're not constantly rubbing on the side it's just total crisscross down there <laughs> oh wow this guy's sticking way out both sides, yeah. So we haven't been in here yet, so we don't really know um, how much further we can go. Yeah. It seems to have gotten deeper. Yeah. Interesting. Another little bridge coming up here. The beach meandered a long way down the coast from our anchorage just outside Porto Pino. From the beach a ways inland is a huge stretch of dunes, which were windswept and beautiful. These were off limits in order to keep the plant life, and therefore the dunes themselves, alive and protected. from the town of Porto Pino and heading uh, up to Casita. So we're doing another one of these sort of early departure things like we did in Sicily, trying to avoid some strong winds today. <laughs> Sound like a broken record. But uh, we had a really great stay in Porto Pino. It's kind of a vacation, uh, holiday vacation place for Italians. Very little English was spoken. And we had a nice meal last night at a seafood restaurant where really they didn't speak any English since the waiter kept repeating things that were the, the fish of the day and all that kind of stuff that were all words in Italian with what it, the fish was going to come with. So we had a little bit of a trust factor there and it all worked out. We had a great meal. So Porto Pino. Behind there. We only had two boats with us last night in the anchorage. I lost a bet with Karen because I said there was going to be five boats with us. And a uh, lovely little town, and it's got a great, long, sort of sandy peninsula, and we took our dinghy down to some dunes further down, checked that out. It was starting into the uh, 
military exclusion zone, so when I tried to fly the drone, it wouldn't even take off because of the no-fly zone. So, um, great visit. And we are off in very light uh, winds, hardly breath of wind at all right now. Um, the water here is super, super clear. We were just talking about that when we pulled up the anchor. I mean, literally, I look down and it's almost like there's nothing between you and the sand below. It was like five meters deep. Uh, but it looked like you could step down into the, touch the sand. And then the canal that we took up into the little village of Portopino, same thing, the water was super clear. You saw all the, the mooring blocks and the lines that were tying the fishing boats off of the dock. Uh, not, it was like you're looking through glass. It was so clear. There was nothing obstructing your view to see right down to the sand below. So very interesting. We liked that a lot. Um, showed that you know the water wasn't polluted at all, or you know just sort of stuff tossed in there from fishing boats and people. <laughs> um, so great, uh, great experience there. So. Moving on to Casita today, we're going to get some fuel there, probably stay at the marina and uh, have a little bit more of a village. We need to do some provisioning. We have, we're low again on basics, fruits and vegetables and all sorts of stuff, so we'll load up there. So we left at kind of like uh, dawn, and you can define that term clearly. I was looking it up in the dictionary last night, and it's like, you know, when there's enough light to see before sunrise. So uh, we left at dawn just so we could see any kind of fish buoys. There's a lot of coastal fishing going on around here. And uh, this is an example of what we're looking for and making sure that we avoid this white buoy here. You never know what color they're going to be. Sometimes they're black, uh, which makes them really hard to see. And sometimes they're a little, I ran in, almost ran over two clear plastic water bottles that were tying off a line, so um, definitely don't want to hit one of these and get it wrapped around a propeller. And they're pretty much impossible to see at night unless you have a moon up, so. That's what I'm looking out for as we cross over here, cross over the Gulf of De Palma and up to the town of Casita. They were setting up for a sail race for all these kiddos, and they're just taking off out of the harbor right now. They're all heading past. They put their buoys out in the uh, harbor earlier, and it's, um, it's definitely a really windy day, so these guys are going to get their work out. It's great. Oh, look at this little peanut. He's teeny. land and on the end of the uh, end of the land sort of the northwest point cute village we just happened to walk upon this square and the guy who runs this restaurant is a photographer and he shows on this building's wall the photos he has taken of this area they're mostly right around Caliceta but also around other parts of the Antioco Peninsula very beautiful, so we decided to sit and watch the slideshow while enjoying a beverage. Here he seems to have caught a shooting star. Pretty talented. We took advantage of the hourly inter-island ferry to visit the nearby island of Isla de San Pietro and the harbor town of Carlo Forte. 
From the top deck of the ferry, we were able to see some of the second day of this youth sailing competition. There are so many boats involved. We're just approaching the harbor of Carlo Forte, and we're looking forward to exploring the quaint town. Time to explore Carlo Forte on foot. The top of the sort of village of Carlo Forte on the island of San Pietro. And across in the distance is the island of Saint Antioco, where Sea Rose is sitting. We took the ferry over to here to San Pietro to check it out. And it's quite the view. There you go. 3 p.m. bell. 3 o'clock bell, yes. All right, we just had our last dinner here in Italy. It was very special. We're in Sardinia in Calisetta, and we had pizza, of course, because we're in Italy. We so. had pizza, and we had leftover pizza. <laughs> and we ordered two is, pizzas because we couldn't agree. This is the size. And that's our freaking leftovers. That's two halves of pizza. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, we, you know, we were just feeling very Italian, and we loved this restaurant. It's pretty cool. So, anyway, goodbye, Italy. Cala de Gaiti. It's on the southern end of um, San Pietro Island, Sardinia. And nice little beach resort place here. Apparently you're not allowed to go ashore with a dinghy, which I get. A lot of swimmers in the water. Um, and uh, so we'll sit here and anchor and enjoy the peaceful setting. Oh, there's a boat that's moving over there. We've got a two overnight trip over to Mallorca tomorrow morning, so we're just trying to kind of lay low. We got a, a little bit of progress here from the marina at Calaceta. Saved us a little bit of time for our trip over to Mallorca. Not a lot, but at least a little bit counts. And uh, when, we, when we get within five or six miles of Mallorca, we'll appreciate it to uh, have saved five or six miles today. So, um, it's been a good stay in Sardinia. It's been a good stay in Italy overall. It's been kind of short. We arrived in Syracuse and then uh, went down to Malta and then back up to Sicily and now did a crossing over to the Sardinia area and really have enjoyed the southern part of Sardinia. It's, uh, it's an area that we didn't see at all when we came down the east coast of Sardinia before, three years ago. Um, so it's been great to explore a different part. The, um, yeah, Italians are pretty friendly overall. The Sardinians seem to be like super, super kind and helpful and uh, willing to accept our, our lack of Italian and uh, are just seem to be a very happy and uh, joyful uh, group of people. So we've had the, um, the upside of that experience. And now we'll be moving on to Spain. So we're knocking off countries pretty quick here. I've got to take down the, uh, where is it here? the Italian flag behind me and the Sardinian flag probably sometime tomorrow as we leave the waters here and uh, hoist our Spanish flag so this will be our sayonara to Italy here if you enjoyed this please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to get notified of new videos join us next time as we continue our westward movement across the Mediterranean Sea and revisit the Balearic Islands off the southern coast of Spain. Thanks for watching.